and we're
方。Love and rockets. Gabby! <laughs> a nice guest in it. I'm all jacked up though. Alright, uh, that was. That was a good fight. Oh, I've got something else here. Okay. I'll just see. Where are you built? Now that was a gun battle. I saw the last shot. That's about all I caught. Ooh. 
Who is that? Who was I fighting? Hmm? Well, you're fighting me if you want. Uh, I was going her. I wish the spectator had pods had guns that could only shoot other spectator pods. Oh yeah, just even if it just made a noise. Nice just yeah, nice just an right. annoyance thing. So this isn't like a formal 1v1, should we jump in there? Mm, jump in if you want, yeah, sure. Oh, there's a guy right here. Well, I kind of want to see how many guns and cannon plays out. Just gotta play two boys. Right, That's the name of the game. Playing the distance game. Okay. Yeah, that's just a constant streak of bullets. You can see it from yeah, the they, Looks like he's right they in the snow. Up eventually. I feel like I'm doing more damage per amount of time. But you're still in the same hopper from before, right? Only my legs got hurt from the last fight. Okay. Well, it's still a decent test, I suppose. That, but I was watching from so far away. Yeah, my leg swung forward, and uh, I was hoping I would take the impact of my arms, but my leg was the first to hit that mountain. And it was, uh, Damn, Kong Ho. Respect.
He'll say, we need to design a racetrack on one of these maps for the pods. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm doing right now. I'll just pretend that there's a racetrack here. Yeah, I've learned it's better not to drift around the corner, but to hit a wall and bounce. And that way you save more speed. It's a pinball around Oh, there. really? Yeah, I've been kind of like just uh, almost driving sideways. Scout, not a course here. Yeah, you gotta put the arch in it somewhere. I think I've got it kind of figured out, Goldbreaker. There's a, I mean, so there's like kind of a, you have to define the spires that you have to stay inside, right? Yeah. But you could totally do a course with these rock formations and like, I don't know, it would be pretty fun. Where was I starting at? Yeah. See, right here at the west. If you go to factory. So like right here where if you're looking at Fraggle Rock, it looks like the man's face. Sticking up out of the ground. Yeah. All right. Are you with me? All right. Here's the court. You got to stay outside that formation there. So there's the left-hand corner right there. And then obviously the big tall spire here. And then I call it that nub, the camel hump, the tall camel hump there. I'm about to pass. Okay, yeah, that's a good cur curve. And then any any of the rocks in that formation, I guess, you know, stay inside of that tall, thin one. But you have to go to the right of this mountain here. And then turning the corner, you can go either under the bridge or anywhere you can turn the corner. I, I think and I then like it's a race a back to factory left. west. Real hard left at the bridge. So, that way, that slows so everybody you, down. You have to so you it. have to bounce off right there and then come back under the oh, bridge. Oh, okay, yeah. And then take you know, it down that's to what the I'm dip in front of Fraggle. You wanted, if you wanted to stop and pick up your speed and go into the bridge, it's fine. Or if you wanted to go, take a chance and hit the wall and bounce under. Right. So then I guess it could be like right here. You have to pass through this, this Fraggle and the little boulder next to Fraggle. You have to go through this channel and then just get back to Factory West. However you want to from here. Nice. And that's the course. I think that'd be pretty cool, man. And it's it's definable enough. Practice it a couple times and know where your corners are. I suppose you could get home. Let me get way up high and see if you can see the whole course. Can you run it? Is the course now? Yeah. I'm gonna go way up high and see if I can ref the course like See whether or not you stay in the line. I think you probably need two or three people to cover the whole 360 degrees, but if the pack was tight, yeah, it's pretty easy to see. Oh, I wiped out. I saw that interesting strategy there, maybe. 
So you gotta go under the bridge and then through the gap next to Fred. I go. Oh, yeah, it takes so long to get that speed back up. Jeez. And then we kind of need like a defined finish line, huh? Maybe that's the finish line, the gap here next to Fraggle. It's not a complete loop. Because this is like a nice tight spot, you know? You could easily tell. Yeah. be over here somewhere but it's like a little bit looser and harder to tell what you know maybe if it's I think it'd be nice hit. if it's kind of a bottleneck oh okay yeah the first person like, to touch um, something like where I am right here is sort of where we started but there's this little nubbin over here you just like run that way maybe you have to go between these two rocks or over these rocks for as long as you just tap this that nubbin right there huh or hell the nubbin back yeah. here against the wall where? That's straight, that's straight out of the arch in the pit. Oh no, it's behind the wall. It's outside the map. Guess maybe see who hits the wall first. <laughs> Just take a straight. Yeah, that straight might be up. it. Just straight into the wall. Kind of easier to spot, especially if you were recording it. It was like really trying right. to come down to the last you second and be whoever it. bounced back first. Yep. Your team is one point away from winning. Alright, let's find the starting line and have a race. Game. So I say the start is, um, hmm. If you get four or five competitors, you need a little bit of room. You can move back where you're at. I guess it could or be this gap right here in front of us. You can find a nice flat wall to start on this. That way everybody has to put their back to the wall. Like a mm, gym class. Keep one hand idea. on the wall. Maybe it could be, uh... Hmm. Well, this isn't like really even terrain. Some people would have an advantage from here. I don't know exactly where against the wall you are. And yeah, maybe up on this shelf you could start five or six racers. I think maybe this is it. You could use the shadow as a start line. See that shadow line right there? We didn't have a race yet. Did you get a you, you fly with hover on? Uh, I think I do. I'll have to check.